Some say life is a roller coaster. What if it was more like this? We don't notice the Earth spinning now, so what would life be like if it spun a little faster? Would we all just get really, really dizzy? How would we cope with shorter days and less sleep? How would it affect our climate or geography? If this is modern life, can we survive any faster? This is what if, and here's what would happen if the Earth spun twice as fast. We don't feel the Earth spinning because along with everything else on this planet, we're spinning right along with it. At the equator, the world turns at roughly 1,600 kilometers per hour, completing a full rotation in 24 hours. So if you stood on the equator, you would travel about 40,000 kilometers in one day. Spinning twice as fast, you'd lose half your day. Time would fly, but you wouldn't be having any fun. Let's start with the good news, weight loss. That's right, if the world spun twice as fast, you'd weigh a lot less. All day, every day, centrifugal force from the Earth's rotation threatens to shake you off the planet. Luckily, gravity is stronger and keeps you grounded. Still, at the equator, you weigh about a half kilogram less because more centrifugal force is generated where the Earth is spinning faster, which ever so slightly decreases gravity's hold on you. So double the speed of Earth's spin, and we're all the biggest loser. That is, because things are about to get a lot worse. Think of all your favorite TV shows, and try to come to terms with the fact that you'll never catch the next episode. Most of our satellites that are used for communications, military intelligence, and television broadcasting are synchronized to the Earth's rotation. Even the smallest increase of speed would cause them to spin out of orbit. But who's even got time for TV these days, when days are only half as long? Do you think you could function on four hours of sleep instead of eight? How about one or two meals a day instead of three? Humans would have to design new schedules and new calendars because instead of 365 days in a year, there would now be 730. Hopefully there'd be twice as many holidays as well. Adjusting to a new biological clock would be tough and not everyone would make it. For example, nocturnal species would have fewer hunting hours and may face extinction if they couldn't adapt. But humans would need to become more efficient too especially in terms of energy. For the average person who drives to work, they would now have to commute twice as often, doubling fuel consumption and its effect on our climate. But really, the climate would be beyond saving. For starters, extreme weather would be much more, well, extreme. Due to the curvature of the Earth, wind and water curve too as they travel across Earth's surface. This is the Coriolis effect, and it's the phenomenon that gives hurricanes their spin. So the faster the rotation of the Earth, the more the winds curve, the more hurricanes spin, and the more energy they carry with them. Put simply, deadlier disasters. But if you like to think of yourself as a storm chaser, well then hopefully you're a strong swimmer too. With the Earth spinning at 3200 kilometers per hour, the centrifugal force would essentially pull all the water from the northern and southern hemispheres towards the equator. Countries like Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, Kenya, Indonesia, Singapore, and Australia would be partially, if not completely, submerged. On top of this, reduced gravity in the equatorial region would produce more moisture. A ring of dense fog and constant rain would permanently cover the Earth's waistline. So the next time you have a long day, be glad it wasn't shorter. Our way of life depends on it. Live in the moment, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year.